Welcome back to the Land of Kakiak. I'm Laurel and I am educating three boys using the Robinson curriculum as the base of our homeschool education. Today I'm going to kick off my series on my math sequence in the early years prior to Saxon math, starting with pre-K. So I use, you know, grade levels very loosely. Um, it's just this is the sequence. It's just where I would start. And you know, your child, if you were gonna use a sequence like this, maybe already farther ahead, um, that's fine. You can find if you want to use my sequence, which is linked down below, for an idea of of how to build up um, the math back fluency and like what you might want to do prior to the Saxon math years. Um, you'll be able to find just wherever they are. Don't pay attention to the grade level. This is just roughly what I've done for my family and what works for us. And I have quite a kind of mix of formal and informal teaching methods at a young age. And so I'm just gonna share with you what we are doing. So uh, this math sequence, it's linked down below. It's a free principle. Follow along with the skills and the resource list that I'm gonna go through. So if you want to, pause the video and download it now and then come back. Okay, for the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that you have a copy of the math sequence that you can follow along with just so I don't have to keep like holding up my list, okay? So if we're starting in the preschool years or just the beginning of the math sequence, someplace you might want to start, under skill, I actually have the first thing down is reading. And I don't mean that I expect four-year-olds to read math books but just that they're gonna be involved in like a read aloud with you, something to do with math. So you'll see to the right in the resource examples, I have Magical Math and Richard Scarry's Best Counting Book Ever. So this is actually the one I would start with because you're gonna practice counting, you know, and it goes up to 20 and then it starts counting by tens to 100. And I like that because it's just really a soft, gentle introduction to counting and it's something enjoyable and it's really sweet to say, hey, it's time for math and to see them get excited. <laughs> like my four-year-old gets so excited to, he'll, he will definitely stop to read this book with me because he loves Richard Scarry. So if you find, if, I mean, if they love Richard Scarry, that's a good place. If there is some kind of math counting book or whatever that's a favorite character of your child's, that's a good tip to try to find that for them. Um, the other book is Magical Math. So this is a really cool book. I think that my second grader would enjoy um, this. I think I haven't read it with him yet. We are still, my four-year-old and I are reading this book still. But I think when we get to this, I'll probably include my second grader because it's just so cute and fun. So it's all these little games and like stories that teach mathematical concepts. Like the first one is called the hidden bean game. And it's saying that, you know, fairies that live in the magical land of imagination, they like to play a game, you know, say they have like 10 or 15 or 20, you know, beans. And one of the fairies will hide them under leaves and rocks and in trees or whatever. If they found five and they knew they started with 10, then the question is how many beans are left to find, right? So it's, get, it's getting them doing subtraction and things without them even knowing that they're doing math. It's just a fun game. So we have to say, we have to know how many more we need to find so we know when the game is done, you know? And um, I do like to have a, um, if attention span can be an issue, right? I do like to have a reward for finishing an activity, like a favorite game they like to play or a toy they want to play with. I'll say, let's hold off until after we do this and then you can have it, you know? Okay, so the next thing on the list would be, yeah, it says counting one to 12 is our skill. And I use, you know, flashcards. I mean, obviously I'm also utilizing, you know, books to do that. But since there's so many flashcards in the RC program, I'm like, let's just get them used to flashcards right away. So what I linked, Flashcards 1 to 12 is actually this really beautiful set. Uh, it's a seller on Etsy. I want to say, I 
can't remember. I want to say it's like poppy paper or something like that. I also bought their alphabet cards and hung them all on the wall. And I just love to point to them with my Harry Potter wand. <laughs> and, you know, we count, you know, 1 to 12, 12 to 1. We talk about 0. And they're just beautiful. And I have it up on the wall um, for us to enjoy. And then um, I also have some Winnie the Pooh flashcards. I think I got these from like the Dollar Tree. You might, you probably have. I feel like somehow we just end up with these types of things like grandparents buying for us or friends, which by the way, I think these are such a good gift, like flashcards and things like that for um, birthday parties for little kids. So this particular set has all the numbers one through 10 in figure form, word form, and then like the number of honey pots that corresponds. So there's 30 cards and then every, there's three, you can find three cards. Um, and if you flip them over, they, they're like these little puzzles, like three piece puzzles. And so he really likes to play with those. I couldn't, I couldn't find them online, but if you find something like that, you know, it's, uh, if, you know, if they work with their flashcards with you for five, seven, 10 minutes, whatever their attention span is, then they get to do the puzzle part, which he just loves to do because he also loves Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so those are kind of, um, the reading is pretty informal, you know, just counting on flashcards, pretty informal. So I'd say the most formal thing I do at this age is my uh, flashcard memory game, early math memory game. This is on my Teacher's Pay Teacher store, I'll link it um, the store for you down below, but the link for this is in the document as well. So I have a bunch of memory flashcards and I just printed them out on cardstock and then you know there's two of each number, I think up to 30. And I just start out with really small groups like um, one through three. And I just start teaching them how to play memory, which ties into other parts of our curriculum, like our language arts. If you follow along at all with like our spelling program, we do, we play memory there too. So um, this is really helpful and I, you know, you can talk to them about things as they're playing and uh, the memory game and you can have them hold up how many fingers, you know, it is. And um, if you just keep doing this repetitively, it's helpful. Anyway, so I let them build up. I just start out with like one through three and then the next time, you know, if they get those three mastered, whenever that is, there's no push, then I'll add the number four in and so on and so forth, right? And then um, this can be something they can do with older siblings too. I, then I start adding on, I do have some um, symbols if you get there and you want to add those in, you know. And then I've got some that are like lines and shapes, cylinder. So that's stuff you can add in over time. But right now in preschool, I'm just worried about, I just want them to start recognizing numbers. I forgot, and I start letting him play on the abacus, right? So this is the larger one, and this is the one I think I have linked, I believe, in the document, um, because the first one I ordered, it was really cute, but it was just smaller, right? And it was just kind of harder, you know, they're not, they don't have the best coordination, and there was just, they get frustrated when they mess up their beads too much. So it was, I, I found a bigger one. <laughs> and this is cut down on frustration. Um, but I will say the, the smaller one came with counting sticks. Oh my gosh. Who knew that counting sticks would be such a hit? You know, he loves these. He makes, he tries to make pictures out of them, like a house out of sticks. And uh, you could have them group them by color. Um, or, you know, say three, do all the greens, do groups of three, you know, kind of explain that to them. And it doesn't have to be a long thing, a long drawn out thing. Um, but those little fun activities he loves. And I like how it makes him really focus in with his eyes and use his little fingers, you know, he's getting a little hand workout. Okay, so let's summarize our resources so far to orient ourselves. And um, we've got uh, books that we're reading with them about math and counting and numbers and games. We've got flashcards to the, visually show them, you know, 1 through 12. Maybe we've got an early math memory game to help them um, really solidify those figures in their mind. I like to do songs as much as I can. 
and like uh, we have a nursery rhyme CD that we play and it's nice to go play it upstairs and let him you know play with his blocks or his trucks or cars up there and we turn on the nursery rhyme CD and sing along like there's the um, ants go marching song the uh, little monkeys jumping on a bed song and the old mother duck you know that went out with her ducklings they went over the hill and far away so those are all math related songs and just repetitively you know I wouldn't over saturate their mind with a new song every day or something I would just do like you know one two three maybe three songs a lot so they actually know them you know and then you start singing them when you're out and about, you know, you're maybe out working in the yard, doing yard work with the kids, and you can start singing. There's a, you know, the ants, and the ants go marching, and you see if you can get them to kind of start recalling it on their own. If you have anything that you love, uh, what what is your first step? Um, share it down below. And let me know if you have any more questions about any of the resources I talked about today, and I will talk to you next time. A capo, we're gonna play Memory, and I've just got a couple cards to start with, okay? The first cards we are going to start with are just the numbers one, one, see there's two of them. We're gonna lay them down somewhere. Bo, what's this number? Two. two. Show me two fingers. Two. two. Good. Two, two. And I have one more. What is this number? Two. Nope. What's that number? Uh, one. This is the number three. three. Will you show me three fingers? <laughs> yes. Three. You're going to flip over one. Flip over one card. What number is that? One. Nope, that's a three. three. Show me three. Is that three? No. No, what is that? One. One, okay, it's not a match. Okay, flip it over. Put this one too. Okay, mommy's turn. Okay. I, okay, I'm gonna try to find a match. This says, I got a, what's that one? One, three. No, this is a? One. Two. two. Let's see if I find another two. No, I found the the other. What is this one? No, no, don't flip them yet. What's this number? Three. Three. Are those the same? No. No, they're different. Okay, flip it back over. Your turn again. Try to find two of the same. What's, what's show the show the camera? Say one. One. <laughs> one. Okay, flip over another card, see if you can find the other one. <gasps> ding, ding, ding! What number is that? One! Okay, you get to take those two cards. You got a match. Put it over. Three. Okay, flip over another card. Can you find another three? <gasps> what number is that? No match. It's not a match, but what number is it? Do you remember? Yeah. What is it? One. No, that's a one. What's this one? Uh, I don't know. That's two. Two. Okay, two not a match. Okay, flip them back over. Okay. Keep it right in the same spot. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay, Mama's turn. Okay. Maybe you can find What's that one? Three. Three. And oh, what's that one? What is that number? Uh, I don't know. Two. Two. Oh, it is a two. Is two, is two the same as three? Is this the same as this? No. No, they're not the same. No match. What's that one? Three. Three. Show me three. Three. Okay. Do you remember where oh, the other three is? Why you have a bandage? Oh, I cut my finger. Oh. Want some glass? This morning. Yeah. That's why you need to be careful. Yeah, it's true. Okay, can you do you remember where the other three is? Mm. <gasps> oh, what's that one? What card is that? What number? Yes. Do you remember? Yes. 
What is it? Two. That is a two. Good. Two. Water? Yeah. I think say, I was sleeping last night. Bo, can you say wa? Wa. Ter. Ter. Water. Water. Better. 